Hi there. This is Lawrence Simon, a technical writer on the documentation team at cPanel. cPanel and WHM allows you to schedule backups of the accounts on your system. After a while, the system will run out of space to store backups. We have a solution to that problem. Backup retention tells the system how many backups to keep. Here, let me show you. Let's log into WHM. Scroll down to the Backup section and click Backup Configuration. The Backup Configuration interface appears. Let's select Enable to enable backups. And for now, I'll just select Daily Backups every weekday. I'll tell the system to retain four daily backups. When the system successfully backs up, it will delete any old backups so that it retains only four daily backups. The important word in that sentence is successfully. If the backup is not complete, the system will not delete any old backups. Let's see this in action. Day one, the system backs up the accounts. And let's say that the backup completes successfully. Everything backs up. Day two, the same. Everything backs up successfully. Day three, day four, everything backs up successfully. Then, on day five, the same thing happens. Everything backs up successfully. Now we have five backup files. Because we only want to retain four local daily backups, the system deletes the backup from day one. On day six, something happens. The backup does not complete successfully. There was a problem with an account. The system will notify the system administrator that the backup completed with errors. Also, the system does not delete the backup from day two. For the next few days, backups do not complete successfully. Once again, the system does not delete any old backups. And then, let's say on day 10, the backup completes successfully. The system will delete older backups until it's only retaining four backups. Let's go back to the interface. We've added a new setting called Strictly Enforce Retention. This means that the system will retain that many backups, one of which must be a successful backup. This is useful for systems with limited local disk space. Let's go back to our backup example with this new setting and see what happens. Day 1, Day 2, Day 3, Day 4, Day 5. We see the same behavior through the first five days. When the backup on day five completes, the system deletes the backup from day one. Okay, on the sixth day, there was a problem. The backup completed with errors. So, the system will notify the system administrator that the backup completed with errors, and this time, the system deletes the backup from day two in order to retain only four backups. On day seven, the backup fails. The system deletes the backup from day three. It still has successful complete backups from days four and five. On day eight, the backup fails. The system deletes the backup from day four. It still has a successful complete backup from day five. On day nine, the backup, that's right, it fails. This time, the system deletes the backup from day six because it must retain at least one successful complete backup. That's day five's backup. On day 10, we finally get a successful backup. Now, the system deletes day five's backup because it's the oldest backup and there's at least one successful backup from day 10. And that's how backup retention works.
For more information about cPanel, the hosting platform of choice, go to cPanel.com or follow us on Twitter. Thank you for watching.